Hi guys, my name is Mo King. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create the snapshot photo freeze frame effect in your video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to import your clip into your timeline. Then you're going to look for the frame where you want to freeze. Then right click and insert frame hold segment. Now what this will do is that it's going to create a freeze frame in between your clip over here. So you can actually increase the rate of this freeze frame section. So I've just increased that a little bit. Select this and duplicate this by holding on your Alt key plus your Select key and drag it up. Go over to your Effects tab and look for the Gaussian Blur effect. And apply this effect to the bottom freeze layer over here. So disable the top freeze frame layer so you can see what you're applying to the bottom freeze frame layer over here. Then go over to your Effects Control tab over here and apply Blurriness to the bottom freeze layer. Enable Repeat Edge Pixel to remove the side edge. Again, you go over to the Effects tab over here and look for black and white. And apply this effect to the bottom freeze frame layer. Now move over to your Lumetric tab over here and move to your Vignette section and apply some Vignettes to your effect over here. Go over to your Timeline over here and enable your top freeze frame layer. Now select the top layer. Then move over to your Effects Control tab over here and reduce the scale to about 50 or 60%. Change your rotation to minus 7. Then move over to your project tab over here and create a new color mat. Just create a new item. Move to color mat. Set the color to white. Click OK. Click OK. Drag your top freeze frame layer above. Select your color mat over here and drag it in between your two freeze frame layers. Reduce this duration to fit exactly between the first and the second freeze frame layers. Close your Lumetri tab and move over to editing. Now select the top layer over here and copy this by hitting Ctrl C. Or you can also right click and hit copy at the top here. Now select your color mat over here. Right click and paste attributes or you can hit Ctrl V. Check these options here and click OK. Now move over to your effects control tab here and increase the scale of your color mat to 65. Uncheck the uniform scale. Change the width to 63. So the next thing to do is to add the camera frame. So you can download this in the description section. Reduce the duration to fit exactly with these layers above here. The next thing you want to do is to select this up freeze frame layer once more. Right click and copy it. Select the camera frame. Right click and paste the attributes to it once more. Make sure you have checked the position values and all and click OK and automatically it's going to fit with this frame we have created. Now select these top three layers over here and nest it. Right click and hit on next. Click on OK. Then select the nested clip over here. Go to your effects control tab and make keyframes on the scale and rotation. Make sure it's at the beginning level. Now move a little bit and set the scale to 110 and the rotation to 4 and move this to the end of the frame. Make them ease in and ease out so you can make the animation more smooth. Now let's see a quick preview of what we've created so far. All right guys, it's already beginning to look nice. Move over to your effects tab over here. Search for deep to white. Drag it in between this layer over here and reduce the duration. Now this is going to add a flash effect to the clip. Now let's see how to add the cropping effect to this clip. So you want to go over to your project over here, right click and add new adjustment layer. Drag this adjustment layer above your clip over here. Select the adjustment layer. Move over to your effects over here and search for the crop effect. Drag the crop effect and apply it to your adjustment layer over here. Move down. And at the beginning of this clip here, you want to set keyframes at the top and the bottom. Set the values to 50 for each of them. Then move over to somewhere around 2 seconds. And set the values to maybe 10. I'm going to set mine to 5. So if I move over now and hit this from the beginning. Alright. Lastly, you want to add the camera shutter sound. You can download this from the description section. So that's it for today guys. If you enjoyed this effect, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what you want me to teach next. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and have a nice day.